I'm gonna give you three biblical steps to help you forgive your abuser. Many of you see yourself in this little girl, abused at a young age, or perhaps when you got older. Hopefully this video helps you. Step number one, acknowledge the pain and bring it to God. If you hide the pain, the pain is in darkness, and where darkness is, the enemy can operate. But when you bring it to God, you shine light on it, and the light of God hits it. Psalm 34, 18 says that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and he brings salvation to those who are crushed in spirit. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, cast your anxiety upon him because he cares for you. Number two, after you share this with God in prayer and ask him to heal you, you want to release the right to retaliation. The Bible tells us that vengeance is God's. It's one thing to defend yourself. It's another thing when you seek vengeance. When you forgive somebody, consider this. It doesn't mean that you're saying what they did was right. Unforgiveness in this realm, it's reserved for a judge that can charge somebody with something. We're not judge in that sense. One day we will judge the world, but we can't charge anybody with anything right now in that manner. So what you're doing is you're releasing the debt to God and you're saying, hey God, you're judge, I ask you to take care of it. Romans 12, 19. And number three, you may need to do this in prayer with a Christian therapist, but what you wanna do is you wanna sit down, close your eyes and reimagine everything that happened. Imagine you speaking to your abuser and say, I forgive you, pray for their salvation. Hit follow for more. Deadlines in under two weeks. For those of you that wanna learn more about defeating the spirit of gluttony, how exercise patterns the spiritual and more, click the link in my story or bio to join this month's class. And if you're